Hi and welcome to my DVD collection. Now, this is going to be a little different from uh, other DVD collections you might see on YouTube where it's not going to, just going to be like scan of titles and I'll maybe talk about one or two on one. I like people who go in a little bit more depth about each movie. No, not too much, but just a little bit. And the ones I usually see are, uh, you know, like half an hour long. And I know from my standpoint that tends to kind of get boring after a while. So I'm going to break up into different, like, sections. Like, one's going to be comic book movies. One's going to be action adventure movies. One's going to be science fiction. And so forth. So, I'm going to start with comic book based movies. Because that seems to be my largest chunk of collection besides my television. First up is uh, Christopher Reeve's Superman collection. This came out back in 2006 when uh, Superman Returns was was in the theaters. It came, it, uh, excuse me, it contains Superman 1, Superman 2, this is the uh, Richard Lester cut of Superman 2, Superman 3, and Superman 4. If you're going to see any of these movies, definitely 1 and 2 are the ones to check out. Because 3 and 4, in my opinion, and most other people's opinions, are not worth the time to check out. The only movie not included, or version of the movie not included in this set is the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2. Now just a little story, or uh, history behind this is they filmed Superman 1 and 2 together at the uh, same time but to be able to finish this one they stopped production on the second one and got this one made and put out first of course so when it was time to uh, go back and uh, finish the second one they brought in a new director to have his the new director's name as sole you know, director of the movie he had to go in there and 51% uh, of the movie had to be original shot by him so of course we got we got Superman 2 the Richard Lester cut and uh, fans always want to see uh, what Superman 2 was originally meant to be seen even says it on there the version you have never seen and they finally, uh, Warner Brothers finally released this back in 2006. And this is my preferred version of Superman 2. It's less, you know, less, how you would say it, less silly than this version of Superman 2. Next up is Superman Returns, directed by Brian Singer, who directed X-Men 1 and 2. Uh, it's not, there's not much to say about this, no. It came out in 2006, and uh, it kind of cut off Superman 3 and 4, and starting a new timeline. Next up is Iron Man, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Jeff Bridges. Definitely in my top 5 comic book based movies of all time. And the sequel, Iron Man 2. I have this one on Blu-ray. Um, what did I think of this? movie? Well, I didn't think it was as good as the first one. Still a decent action movie. Just don't go in there, or don't go to see this movie thinking it's going to be exactly as good as the first one, because it's not. Alright. Next up is The Incredible Hulk, starring Edward Norton and Lee Tyler. Now, there might be some confusion, confusion on this movie. It's not in any way a sequel to the 2003 version. This is a reboot of the movie series. And unfortunately, looks like there won't be a second one for this one either. Which is a shame, because it's an uh, enjoyable movie. 
and I would like to see more with Edward Norton and the directing team. This next movie I consider one of the two movies to really start this new wave of comic book based movies and that is Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Definitely a good movie. Not as good as the second one I would say but still a definitely worthy movie in the series. Next movie up is of course Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 2.1 this has 8 additional minutes of footage not seen in this cut of Spider-Man, the theatrical cut what movie did I like, or what version did I like better? I would say Spider-Man 2.1 it would be my favorite cut and of course everybody's favorite comic book makes favorite Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man 3. What do I think of this movie? Yeah, it is not, yeah, definitely it's not as good as 2 or 1. It's still enjoyable if you can look past some silly parts in the movie. So, still worth a watch. This is the second movie I considered that Started this new wave of comic book based movies, and that of course is X Men, directed by Brian Singer, and of course the sequel. And then everybody's favorite X Men 3. I hate this movie. The only reason I have this movie is to complete the set, even though I have, don't have War Ring yet. But I did like First Class. I'm definitely going to put that up when it comes out. Next movie up. Most people don't consider it as good as the second one. But in my book, I, I think it's on par with the second one. And that, of course, is Batman Begins. Starring Christian Bell, directed by Christopher Nolan. And its sequel, of course. The Dark Knight. Sorry, he Ledger. Um, yeah, these two movies are definitely a good example of how good comic book movies can and should be. Definitely in my top five list. Not, so, not a whole lot of people like this movie for some reason. I definitely like it over the remake that came out a couple years ago. And I would like to see more done with this guy. But... The movie is The Punisher, starring Thomas Jane. And of course, the standard cut of The Punisher. And it's kind of open, this one kind of opens up to be like a police badge. Or something, or no, please. Mine, of course, when I got it, the glue was already gone. Uh, but, so, and I try to re it, but it doesn't want to stay, so. Next up is V for Band, uh, sorry, Natalie Portman. Not uh, much to say. Good movie. Then, next up is Fantastic Four. People rip on this movie. I don't know. It's an enjoyable movie. Not Definitely not one of the best comic book based movies, but. I had fun with it, so. Usually in everybody's movie going experience, there's one movie. When you thought, when it came out, you thought this was an awesome movie. But watching years later, you might go, wow, did I really like this movie? And this movie, for me, is Daredevil. I was about 13 when this movie came out in theaters. I just thought it was awesome. So I got on DVD. Watching it years later, it's like... I'm just stunned how I liked this movie in the back then. This is an awful comic book based movie. So, and I, I don't know why I kept it. Kept this for so, for so long. 
mean, I, I can't remember the last time I watched this. Maybe five, six years ago. Now, two movies I just pick up, picked up not too long ago. Constantine, starring Keanu Reeves. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. But I just kind of remember I liked it. It's probably not one of the best made graphic novel movies, but it's still an enjoyable movie. And this last movie I have for this segment is Watchmen. I read the graphic novel shortly before this movie was released in theaters. I saw the movie, thought it was alright, not as good as the graphic novel, so I picked it up to give it another shot. So that's my first section of DVDs and slash Blu-rays I have. And I hope you enjoy. Come back later for let's do sci-fi nuts. How about that? So come back for the sci-fi section. And until next time, brute out.